Alright guys, Gemini, back with another video, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and this is my DVD wall, it's not as big as it could be, I'm still working on it, I still have some space down here, and some space down here, it's a slow, it's a slow grind, you know, but eventually we'll get there, I just don't have as much room as I did in my house, my house was um, 2,000 square feet, and now I'm in my apartment, my apartment's 740, 740 square feet, so it's a work in progress, anyways, I was... I was over here yesterday and I was looking at some DVDs and stuff and I'm like, dude, what what can you review that you haven't done in a while? I'm like, man, why not do one of the most historic uh, SummerSlams of all time, SummerSlam 2014. This is like, man, this is one of my favorite SummerSlams, especially in the, the recent era. You haven't seen a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, SummerSlams that really stand out. And for me, SummerSlam 2014 stood out for John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar just beat the hell out of Cena. I mean, Suplex City was invented that night. He Suplex Cena 16 times and won the title. It was the most one-sided championship title fight I had ever seen. I had never seen John Cena, who had been the world champion like 10, 12 years at that time, uh, just manhandled. I mean, Lesnar just killed him. I mean, Cena wasn't even competitive in the match. I mean, Lesnar was on fire that night. Lesnar looked like he could have beat anybody. Realistically, he looked like nobody was going to stop him that night. I mean, he was a bull. You can see him with the undisputed titles, and it was crazy um, to see that beating that Lesnar gave Cena, and I know all the people who have hated Cena all these years just loved it. And my other favorite part of SummerSlam 2014 was uh, Stephanie McMahon and uh, Brie Bella. I mean, when Stephanie McMahon came out, she looked like she was just a woman who was just carved from stone. I mean, she was buff as hell. I mean, her outfit looked great. Her hair looked great. Um, she she was pretty awesome. Awesome entrance. Uh, everything about Steph just was like, as <laughs> you could tell, she was like a third generation wrestler. And, and she showed it. She just gave Brie Bella just the wrestling lesson of a lifetime. And I can remember when this was taking place, I was on Twitter. And I was just going crazy because I was marking out so hard for Stephanie because she just looked so epic. And she just killed Brie. Nikki pulls the heel turn. Um, yeah, it was just SummerSlam 2014 was just a great event. And it's a fun DVD. Uh, if you don't have this one, maybe order it on Amazon or something. But yeah, a lot of good memories. The Stephanie part was fantastic. Um, the Brock Lesnar part was fantastic. Overall, just an awesome-ass SummerSlam. So you can see the shot of Steph giving the pedigree on the back. It was pretty cool. This is one of my favorite SummerSlams of all time in the modern era. I'm Gemini. Thank you for listening.